Okay, the next thing we're going to do is remove the drive off of the back of the boat. We've already disconnected the trim rams on both sides and we also uh, took loose uh, the six uh, nuts off of the, the back of the drive here and we've got a block that we're going to use here to kind of help separate the drive from the uh, from the transom here go ahead and disconnect the shift shaft from the drive and then the unit from there can be pulled the rest of the way off now with the, the drive unit removed we're going to go ahead and take loose the uh, trim limit and on the opposite side the trim sender um, units there and underneath Underneath these, there's going to be the hinge pin, which allows the the drive and bell housing to uh, move up and down when you're trimming the unit. The trim limit and trim sender, they have Phillips screws holding them on both sides. they pull out there and they have a special tool that fits into the hinge pin its part number is 91-78310 and it takes a half inch socket there and then from there you can crack it loose on both sides um, and this will let this uh, bell housing move freely it'll take it off of its hinge there Okay, we've got the hinge pins removed. Now we can pull back on the bell housing. And a couple little little notes here. The trim cinders, a little little trick is if you get some some type of tape and tape those up out of the way as you're turning the the uh, the steering wheel and the drive uh, or this assembly back here, you're not going to pinch and crack anything back here. Also, depending on your drive, you want to account for any kind of washers or fiber washers, um, which are located in between the gimbal ring and the bell housing in this in this location here. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, get the shift cable uh, removed uh, so we can finally. Uh, get the bell housing completely off the back of the boat um, this is the cable here it goes through the shift uh, the shift bellows uh, located underneath here and we'll have to disconnect it on the engine side um, in order to uh, get it completely removed okay we're here at the engine now and we're going to locate the shift cable uh, that goes to the to the transom assembly that shifts the drive and we found the the uh, bracket over here uh, we've got the, uh, the the top cable here is going to go to the remote control up at the driver's console this lower cable here we've uh, determined it goes down and and uh, back to the drive so this lower one is the one we're going to be removing
go ahead and take these anchors loose here at the end of the cable on this plastic slide and this plastic slide will remove off the end be careful that piece comes out of the end right there then we're going to take this nut loose inner cable or our outer cable that piece there okay we're backing out the back of the boat here this is the inner uh, cable uh, which we took loose the other end uh, uh, on the engine side normally this just slides right out uh, in this this particular situation here uh, the the outer cable and everything is melted together so it is it's completely stuck so we pulled it out part of the way like I said normally it comes out real easy we're gonna go ahead and just snip it snip it there and uh, get rid of it and then from there uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, take loose the inner the inner nut here there's a nut on the inside there and you can hold it on the back side uh, to get it broke loose and then that uh, comes loose of the bell housing okay we finally got the the cable loose here as you can see this one is in really bad shape uh, that's why it's needing to be replaced and this is what we were taking loose this is the outer nut here that goes on the outside it has the cable that, that slides in and out on the back here and this sandwich is in between in between this location here on the bell housing um, and that releases the uh, the cable and we'll go ahead and remove the rest of the the cable and I've connected a chaser rope to the end of the cable there uh, for ease of uh, getting the new one back in and that's our cable there okay we're now going to go ahead and break this ring loose here uh, that's holding the u-joint bellows on push up on the bellows get it pushed in okay with the u-joint bellows uh, disconnected from the bell housing the only thing we we have left is going to be the the gear lube hose which comes from the gear lube monitor on the engine uh, to this uh, to the bell housing and couples up to the drive at this location right here and also we have the inlet water hose uh, connected uh, from the from the uh, transom uh, to this location right here on the bell housing um, so we, we've already disconnected the gear lube hose so we can go ahead and move the bell housing out of the way here um, on this particular engine it got really really hot um, and melted a little bit of everything so um, we're going to go ahead and replace the um, the exhaust bellows here we're going to go ahead and replace the u-joint bellows up here the inlet water hose the shift cable and uh, shift cable bellows and the trim sending units uh, the trim limit on this side 
and the sending unit on that side, uh, which is just about everything, um, and the, the uh, gear lube hose. Uh, so uh, this concludes the disassembly of the transom assembly.